Welcome! Today I will share with you how to make wall art using Mod Podge and Fabric Decoupage. It sounds quite exotic, not too much, not too hard, but the result very exotic. I'm Juliet Megwe and on this channel I normally share with you my DIY home deco tips as well as my life hacks. So what is decoupage? Decoupage is the art of using blue paste to paste on cutouts of paper, fabric, other things like beads and sequins on a surface like wood, something ceramic, metal, sometimes even plastic so that it looks like it has always been there. In our case, we are using Mod Podge as our glue paste, but there are many types of decoupage pastes out there, and I'll also share with you as we go along what you can use that you have at home or that you can easily get from the shop. Everything you use on this video is linked in the description below. And for this DIY, we will need fabric, I have some colorful fabric, and we're using two pieces, and each is 40 centimeters. And then I have these three pieces, and the three of them are 80 centimeters long. Then we have this canvas. It was just a normal canvas, a normal white canvas like this. What I've done is I've done a wrap painting on it to give it some texture and color so that it's not, we can have a contrasting color with the fabric. And this is 30 by 40 centimeters. I'll put it aside for now. We also have some paint brushes. And if you don't have paint brushes, you can use a sponge. In fact, sometimes I prefer the sponge more because it has a very smooth finish and the bristles don't come out. But if you have a nice brush, it should be okay. And don't have you know, another sponge, just cut off a uh, washing super bright or cut bright like this. In fact, I like it because you can hold here quite firm and use this side to, to apply your mod podge. And this is the mod podge. As you can see, this is the matte finish. You can have Cross, you can have fabric, and it's a water based sealer. Too. And you need scissors to trim. This paper is in here so that when you're gluing, we leave our surface clean. So, to begin with, we are using our mod podge. As you can see with the fabric, I have turned it in a half an inch, a one and a half centimeter in, so that this spray, this area that is sprayed, does not give us problems when we're putting it under the paste. And then found it that it's easy, even easier if you glue down this fabric. You need to glue it down all the way to the other end. Uh, we are finishing off. 
the good thing with mod podge as a glue paste is that it's water free water based so if there's any bar it's easy to clean up so then we just tap it down and give it a chance to dry or just cold although it doesn't need to really dry because as we put the glue you will see it still gets wet and something i realized is that the fabric of course takes a little longer to dry than paper and i've gone ahead and pasted the others and then we will take our our canvas and do our design or plan our design. I want to do something nice, bright. Whatever design you opted for, I'm then going to move this aside a bit like this. Because I'm doing it in layer. I'm going to turn this out, bring in bring in the glue and just paste a layer on to glue it down. As we said, decoupage is using a glue paste. One thing that's very good about Mod Podge, it's made for this work. And it dries clear. Though a little cloudy, it dries clear. So even though you see me putting a bit on the canvas, it is okay. Then I'll do the same to the next one and I'll do that all the way until the end and then I come back to it. After putting the last one, this is how I have organized and I've stuck down the fabric and I have chosen to do it even on the side do it even on the side if you want you can cut yours but i wanted mine when the canvas is seen from the side you'll be able to see this design so i'm going to turn it upside down for now and trim off what i can because we don't need all this extra as long as it's gone around I'll cut off the edges. The alternative I think that works for more code is using white glue and water. 
and remember you use three parts glue one part of that. water glue is what is more so three parts glue one part water mix it up and it will do almost the same so now we're going to just this on top of the whole fabric layer and what we're doing with this is sealing it in it's going to be like a 3D effect fabric on the canvas and you're finding this if you're finding this helpful and useful please subscribe and press the notification button to be notified of my next video and for other wall art ideas check the card above and the video linked in the description below. And remember that fabric takes longer to dry compared to paper, but you can use maybe a sentimental, something for your wedding, something sentimental for your child, Card or pretty paper, I never throw away, you know, those pretty cards and wrapping papers, but they're also very good for you. And don't worry about the cloudy glue on the side, but it's water based, you could wipe, but it will also dry here. And I'll do the same on the side, and then I'll show you how to do it at the end it's that simple I normally say if I can do it you can do it yourself what a shared you can make make your wall a tweak or make exactly like mine use fabric use paper use dyed, dried flowers anything out there or some sentimental card you had maybe from a wedding or from a birthday that was cute use that and this is how our artwork turns out. Pretty, amazing, and turning. And if you're wondering how to turn your wall art, I've linked a video in the card above and in the description below to share with you how to turn different types of wall decor. And if you're not subscribed or press the notification button, Please do so that you can be notified of my next video upload. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you next time. God bless you. Baraka Tele.